Now that I've finished these letters, I want to move to a new area of the quilt. So I'm going to show you just how easy that is. I'm going to slide the bundle over to where I want to start stitching. And I'm going to put the needle down so that I can then have my hands free to adjust the weightless quilter if I need to. So needle will hold the bundle. All right. And I'm going to work in this direction. So I'm thinking I probably don't even need this one right now. I think I'll just release that. Put a little bit more of the right side of the quilt right through the opening of the machine. And I'll leave those two poles supporting the weight in the back. And I'm going to stitch right along these flying geese. I will clip off that thread so I won't be running into that again. And I don't want to run into this pin either. And I'm going to stitch the right half of the row of flying geese with one continuous line of stitching. Stop with the needle down to readjust my hands. Everything still is moving very freely, so I can leave those uh, clips just the way they are. Time to readjust. I don't want to run into the pin. And now I think I'll just move the bundle a little bit so that I can get back at the other half of the row of flying geese. And it feels like I'm going to want to change this clamp a little bit and possibly have it over here. We'll see how this works out. There we go. I'm thinking this is time lapse. And just like that, I've finished off that row of flying geese. Really simple. 